Hi, my name is Karen Jogan and I am an evaluator for the accreditation agency in the Northeast United States, the Middle States Commission on Higher Education. And I was asked to comment on, uh, from my perspective as an external evaluator, what should higher ed be accountable for? Well, according to the accreditation um, organizations, and this is our accreditation group, they're accountable for standards that are in the accreditation area. Um, our standards in the Middle States region are divided into two sections. One is institutional standards and the other is in the area of educational effectiveness. All of the standards point back to uh, successful outcomes for student learning for the student. The student is at the center of all of the uh, areas that we look at and all areas of the uh, higher education institution need to have accountability for their um, for their success in meeting their their goals and addressing the standards of the external accreditation agency. For example, in the institutional context, we evaluators look at mission, we look at planning and allocation of resources, we look at leadership and governance, we look at the administration, the institutional integrity, and of course how the institution assesses its goals. In terms of educational effectiveness, we look for areas in student admissions, student support services, the faculty, the educational offerings, the curriculum, general education, all kinds of related educational activities which might be non-credit or online offerings. And finally, and the most important standard, is the one for assessment of student learning. So those are basically an overview of um, what we do when we're looking uh, to see if institutions have met the standards. Uh, many of the institutions that we evaluate, in fact, do not meet the standards that are set by the middle states. Um, and in that case, often there is a visit, a follow-up visit, um, sometimes multiple follow-up visits to ensure that the institution will eventually uh, meet the benchmarks that are, uh, that are set. The second question that I was asked to address is, in 10 years, what will accountability look like for higher education? The standards in our particular region do change and are modified to keep up with the times. For example, a number of years ago, there, was, there were no uh, programs uh, that were online, but now there is a whole set of standards that address online course offerings, for example. Also, a number of years ago, we were looking at standards just in admissions. Now we're looking at questions about not just admissions, but also student retention. So little by little, there is uh, some give and take and some movement toward trying to have these standards change and keep up with the times. I'm sure there'll be more things that are changing uh, in the next 10 years. I think accountability, the standards will generally look the same. However, there'll be greater consistency in how we as evaluators are evaluating whether those standards are met by the institutions. Uh, in my accreditation region and in many others, there's a great deal of attention paid to training the evaluators, to making sure that the evaluators are all on the same page, that we know what we're looking for, we know how to follow up, we know how to write our reports. And in that sense, I think there will be a greater movement toward uh, consistency in the future.